you guys, I'm Nick, aka the Rolling Nicks Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can install two mods, not one, but two mods, at the exact same time in Minecraft 1.7.10. Now, you could do this using the Forge Mod Loader, which you can check out a video in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, as well as in the description and at the end of this video, as to how you can download the Forge Mod Loader and install mods using it. So, uh, you can use the Forge Mod Loader, but what if the mods aren't compatible with Forge? Well, I'm going to show you how most mods are installed installed if they aren't compatible in Forge and how you can do two mods at the same time. Specifically today, we are going to be installing the Optifine mod and the Too Many Items mod in Minecraft 1.7.10. So first off, you need to download both of these mods. By the way, there are links to both of these in the description. Um, obviously, these are going to be the non-Forge versions because we're not using Forge to download them. But nevertheless, once you've got the two mods that you uh, that you want to download queued up and ready, just go ahead and get those both downloaded. Uh, once you've got those downloaded, however, we need to come back to your desktop, which is most likely where they're located. They're most likely located here. And if they're not located there, you can hit the Windows key R on your keyboard and type Downloads and hit Enter, and it'll open up the Downloads folder where you can find... Uh, find them here. Nevertheless, for me, they're on the desktop. Now, we again want to hit the Windows key on our keyboard and R, and then, rather than typing downloads, we want to type percent APP DATA percent, and then hit enter, and it will open up roaming. Then we want to go into dot Minecraft, and then we want to go down to versions. In versions here, we want to find 1.7.10. If you do not have 1.7.10, you need to go launch up just regular, normal 1.7.10 without any mods, come back, and it will be here. Nevertheless, once you've found that, you want to right-click on it, copy it, and then right-click again, paste. It's going to then create 1.7.10-copy. However, I don't want it to be named that. So right click on it, rename it, 1.7.10-TMI-Opti. Okay, that's what I'm going to name this. And then I'm going to select it all. Okay, so when the rename right here, you want to control A and then control C. And now you've copied it just to make sure you can right click copy and then you want to go into this folder once you're in here you have two 1.7.10s we need to rename both of those by right clicking renaming and then clicking paste right right clicking again and clicking paste this needs to be the exact same as what you named the folder out here same thing for this one the .json file some of you guys have been having issues with this so right click on it rename right click up oh, my bad right click on it rename right click again paste and then type dot JSON, enter. By doing that, it'll keep it a JSON file. You can then rename it and delete the dot JSON here. And as you'll see, it again stays a JSON file. Nevertheless, go ahead and double click on that and then find ID up here. And then you'll see in parentheses, or in quotation marks rather, you'll see 1.7.10. You want to highlight that, right click on it, and click paste. 1.7.10-TMI space opti. File, save, and then you can close out of this. Now, you do need WinRAR for this tutorial, unfortunately, so if you haven't downloaded that, simply go to WinRAR.com. It is There is a link in the description. You can go down there, click that, and download WinRAR and install it, just like a normal program. Once you've got WinRAR, you want to right-click on 1.7.10-TMI space opti. Go over here. You'll see it's an executable jar file just to make sure. Right-click on that, and you want to open that with... WinRAR Archiver. It'll then open up a page that looks exactly like this. And uh, now we need to go ahead and I'm going to install too many items first. So double click on the too many items right here. This is a, a RAR file for WinRAR or a zip. Doesn't really matter. Uh, both will open in WinRAR. If it doesn't open in WinRAR, right click on it and then open with WinRAR Archiver. Nevertheless, once you've got this open, simply take all of these TMI files and highlight them. So highlight all of these too many items files and drag them over into the Optifine 1.7.10-TMI Opti. Click OK and it will drag all that over there and you're good to go. You can now close out of the too many items folder, right? Keep this one open, but close out of too many items. Now we want to come over here to Optifine, right click on that, and we want to open with, again, WinRAR Archiver. It will then open up this right here. You want to then highlight everything and then drag it over. It's probably going to say we need to replace some stuff. Just hit OK. Go through all that. Now you want to right click on MetaInf and delete files. Okay, so right click on MetaInf and delete files. Click Yes. 
And then now you can close out of all of this and I'll meet you guys in the Minecraft launcher. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, choosing to play Optifine and Too Many Items or whatever mods you installed is very, very easy. Simply come down here, click the profile you want to play. In my case, that's Dead Buddha. Hit Edit Profile and then go to Use Version. For me, I want to play TMI and Opti right here in 1.7.10. Yours will probably be named whatever mods you installed. Go ahead and click Save Profile and then click Play. It will then launch up Minecraft as you can see here. It will show you the Mojang logo, all that stuff and go to the main menu. I'll meet you guys there and we're here, look at that, without even a jump cut. Now to uh, prove that both of these mods are installed, let's go ahead and launch up CTV Craft Survival here. Whoa, loading. Hit E and you'll see there is too many items. Now if we hit Escape, go into Options, go into Video Settings, you can see that there is all of the Optifine settings. That is how you guys can install two mods in Minecraft 1.7.10 without Forge. Once you get more than two, honestly, it gets very, very dicey. And even then, some mods aren't simply compatible. So if you are having issues, it might just be because the mods you're trying to install together just don't work together, period. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Nix Games, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is my weekly Minecraft series in which I go and play Minecraft 1.7.10 in Let's Play format for you guys. I survive, I build things, I gather resources, it's a fun time. And that episode we get to slay some mobs because we built a mob spawner. Go check it out. And on the right is a blast from the past on Team Fortress 2 in which I got MVP! I actually got MVP on Team Fortress 2 by luck, yes, but I got it. So go check out that video to see exactly how that happened. Also check out my daily vlogs of Bomb Saver Screen to see what I'm up to every single day of my life. Anyway guys, I'm Nick's Games and I'm out. Peace.